Hey y'all, this is Katie with Following the Funks, and today I am taking you on our road trip from Ankara to Amasya. We are American expats living in Izmir, Turkey, and right now we are on our two-week Black Sea road trip. We flew from Izmir to Ankara, and then we explored Ankara for a day, and now we are headed on to our next location. This is going to be the longest part to our road trip. From Ankara to Amisa is four hours, and so this is like part two. There's who knows how many parts. There might be like seven parts to this whole trip, but this video is going to be all about our road trip from Ankara to Amisa, and then I'm going to show you the little town of Amisa. This area called the Hatusa, where Boazkoi uh, is an ancient site all the way back to the Hittites, which is actually some of the first civilization back in the Babylonian kingdom here. I mean, it's ancient, ancient, so 1200 BC. And it says the capital of this great empire was discovered in 1834 by a French architect. It passed through the hands of Persians, the Galatians, the Romans, and the Byzantines lived here until the 11th century AD. So there's the Hattusha area, and then there's also the Boaz Khoi, which is a Turkish name. Uh, apparently this is a tunnel that's built into the fortification system of the city, and you can go all the way down the 70 meter tunnel that's been here for forever. Like all of this is just, it's literally just well-placed stones, and so walking under something that you feel like might collapse on you, but it's been here forever, so it can't collapse on you, right? So, um, my plan wasn't to actually come to this little ancient site. I didn't even know it existed. And on our little route, I was only thinking about places that I wanted to go on the Black Sea. I wasn't thinking about this four hour drive having any ancient ruins for some reason. I didn't even think about it. I just thought, if we're gonna be on the road for four hours, that's probably enough for our kid to handle. So we were driving, not having anything else to do. I decided to look up and see if there were any ancient sites, and lo and behold, there was this one. It's in, um, it's not near water, it's inland. It's up on a mountaintop with an amazing view. I think it's one of those sites that's just overlooked. Um, what I love about this site is that there is a six kilometer driving road that you can take around this site and see most of it without having to get out and walk all the all around and since Sophia is sleeping to let her sleep and let me get out and explore Jason's down there with her and then if he wants to get out he can explore as well so this has been a really fun stop off and a, a really fun surprise
water here. Are you ready to go? Huh? You want to go exploring? Huh? Sounds good. Huh? Can you say yes? Yes. Sophia rode on Daddy's back, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You're sitting right now. Mm -hmm. And my Daddy's sitting and Mommy's sitting. We're taking a break because I think there's like 5,000 steps to come up here. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're done yet. I should, someone should say how many steps there are to come to the top of the tower. You can count on the way down. I don't know if I want to know how many steps I climbed. Because <laughs> if it's a low number and I'm that winded from it, <laughs> I need to work out. There were 12. I sit. You're sitting. I sit now. Yeah. Are in Amasia. In Amasia, there is a castle up on the very top, 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 top of the mountain. And Amasia is a little town that has a river Hi. running through it. And along the river is lined with a bunch of uh, well preserved Ottoman houses. I guess the three things I would say you can do in Amasia is go to the castle. Uh, see the rock tombs, which you don't have to, you don't have to climb up to see the rock tombs. You can see them from the water. Three, stroll down. Hey, I'm talking here. Uh. The third thing is that you can stroll down uh, the riverside and just look at all of the really nice old houses um, that they have maintained in the Ottoman style. steps do you think it was to where we sat down? 5,321. No. I know, you said it was only 271. That's still a lot though. Yeah, but it still makes me feel like, oh, it's just 20 steps, Katie. Why are you so winded? It wasn't 20, it was 271. That, you know, that's actually, that's quite a few. Like how many flights of stairs is that? Like if a flight of stairs is 30 to get to the next floor, right? I don't know. You know, like you go up one and it comes back. What is that? Like 10 floors, nine. 10 stories? 10 or nine, yeah. I climbed a 10 floor building today. We have 
just finished up our time in Amasia and we are headed out to Samsun. So I'm going to finish out this video. You should definitely put Amasia on your list of places to stop. It is a beautiful little town. It can definitely be done in one night. Even if you're just driving through, you can definitely stop off and just walk around this area to see the well-preserved Ottoman homes. I definitely think it's well worth our time and I'm so glad that we spent the night here. If you've been to Amasia before, please let me know. And if I've missed anything, please comment below so that other people who have seen this video can definitely add that to their list of things to see. Always, I hope you have a great week. You can catch our next video, which is going to be driving from Amasya to Samsun. Thanks for following along, and I will see you next time. Bye.